celestial dragon manifesting through Brother Raven. And um, I worked in an art gallery, and one Sunday morning when I was by myself in the gallery, Brother and I, Raven and I have a relationship anyway, and we would talk outside often, but uh, this Sunday morning he decided he was going to walk into the gallery. And it wasn't an easy walk, he had to go under a big arch and come in through the doorway, and he just kind of waddled himself around, walked around, and then decided he was going to fly in the gallery, and I was like trying to make sure he didn't hurt the pottery around, and then he, he, he kind of got himself in a corner and left me two little chest feathers, and then he walked around the gallery a little more, and then he all of a sudden turned and looked, and there was the doorway, and out he flew, but it was the most amazing encounter for me. So I wanted to do the painting of Brother Raven and put him in Sedona, which is of course where it all happened. And, and then Celestial Dragon, so I, I, I see a spiritual advisor and um, he said, well, Brother Raven is kind of like the dragon. They both have come here to learn compassion because they're both a little ruthless. And so I put Celestial Dragon in here because the dragon, he, although he has an incredibly strong energy, he's amoral and he too needs to learn compassion. So the, he lives in another dimension but manifests through Brother Raven and they both came to learn all about compassion. And the wolf, who's also a shapeshifter, these are all shapeshifters, um, can teach him about the heart. Um, Raven and Wolf have an unusual relationship anyway in the real world, in that Raven helps the wolf hunt. So um, this is how it turned out, and I thought it was um, pretty spectacular. The dragon is so beautiful, and so is Brother Raven. There it is. Thank you.